Hey guys, welcome back to Hunger Geeks. I'm Isen the Gizman, and welcome back to another episode here in Hunger Geeks, where I'm going to talk about a little bit more of what PC we use to render and also use day by day by me when it comes to my everyday work and of course here the hobby here in Hungry Geeks. Now as you may know of course we've already been more than 100 days in this quarantine and of course due to COVID-19 we have to work at home so I had to revamp my whole PC home setup and even the table as you can see here from the previous setup everything I had to improve just to have a more ergonomic and also free-flowing workflow for both my work and also my hobby. So what I did was with the same chassis, supposedly it's not the same chassis. Um, the original chassis was a RAID Max uh, PC with free-flowing air. But the problem is the, case, the casing itself was not compatible with the motherboard. One of the pillars of the RAID Max PC uh, casing was actually uh, hindering the screws for the whole motherboard itself. So technically, uh, it's not a fit at all. So I had to... Um, used my old p casing of my PC. It's still the same PC case, but overall, it's a revamp inside. What I like about this PC is actually, it's really good. Um, I have here a uh, Ryujin 240 in terms of cooling. Of course, an Asus Z490 Prime A processor in terms of overall motherboard management. I even have uh, my same old graphics card. It's a GTX 1060 Strix, 6GB uh, OC. It's not bad. Technically, you might say that, huh, why is he using a 1060 graphics card until now? What if he's using a 10th generation processor? I had to be considerate a little bit on my budget in terms of upgrading my whole PC. So technically, I kind of upgraded my whole PC for around 50,000 pesos, including the motherboard, the graphics card, the cooler, um, some of the storage and even the RAM so with this way I can already have an increase of performance without sacrificing too much of my budget right now so what's good about this one is I actually felt a lot of improvements in terms of the overall um, loading time rendering speed in terms of the PC the 10th generation uh, Intel Core i7 10700 is actually over the although it's not overclockable I'm using here a Z490 Prime A motherboard, which is really not really for really overclocking. So I'm quite enough in terms of its overall performance as a processor itself of the Core i7-10700. So it's, it gets the job done as much as I do, um, as much as I want as well. Now what I like about setting up the whole PC is actually it's very harmonious. Um, I don't really have to do a lot of fingering or th uh, lingering in terms of the PC. I just connected it to the internet and then automatically the Asus uh, Crate Armory was installed and then it was able to identify all the drivers from the graphics card, from the motherboard, even from the utilities. Everything is there and one thing I really 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 love that I now have is actually ROG or technically the Asus Aura Sync. So the lighting from my memory from the motherboard of course from even from the graphics card from my keyboard setup even in the overall lighting can be controlled um, one thing that you may notice here is that the fans underneath is actually not yet uh, aura sync capable but it's actually already in the process of delivery i ordered online as well some fans so to make the overall look well and rog or technically aura sync capable as well but overall in the pc itself of course you have to have a nice set of monitors keyboards and also mouse so i'm currently using an asus pg279q it's a 165 hertz g-sync monitor 27 inches of course Although it's not yet com compatible before um, with Aura Sync, it's really not that much. Uh, I currently use an ROG TKL Scope Strix. So it's a good keyboard with even the leather wrist panel for added ergonomics. And it's such a nice feature when it comes to both work and play. I just wish that the keyboard was a little bit more uh, what you call that quiet, but it can be technically fixed when you added some o-rings or rubber bands underneath the keyboard if you want to have 
some added um, silence, especially when you're typing and also doing web conference. So as you can see here, I even have my personal lampshade. Additionally, I even have here my ASUS uh, RTAC86U router that manages over all my network right now. And I'm going to add up actually one more AI mesh router to have it more of an uh, overall better internet connection all throughout my house. So right now I'm controlling a lot of smart devices. I currently have 21 smart devices and this router can do it. 5 gigahertz in terms of management in throwing 4K video into my smart TVs, even in terms of transferring files wirelessly. All of them is actually pretty capable in doing everything all of that. Um, what you need right now is actually on PC is really more of ergonomics. So when I say ergonomics, um, what do I want to tell about it? Um, so what I achieve in doing this PC or PC build is actually one is I actually improve in terms of the overall accessibility of the PC. Um, it's now faster to boot, faster in terms of rendering, fat, more multitasking capable. And then I'm trying to do right now a wireless capable mouse and keyboard setup. With my current uh, keyboard, of course, the 6K ROG uh, keyboard, it's not wireless capable, but hopefully they come up with a wireless keyboard capable uh, set sooner or later. I'm going to upgrade as well into an ROG Strix carry on wireless mouse. So I kind of have an overall upgraded look and as you can see here my cable management isn't really that well in terms of uh, exterior so i'm gonna fix it as well it's sooner or later even underneath in this area everything's gonna be fixed but yeah that's it um that's the overall upgrade right now i did on my pc for here in hungry geeks and also a combination of my play so that's it guys if you have any questions in terms of how did i upgraded my pc thank you so much and also from intel for also having the 10700 processor um, big jump in performance in terms of my overall PC. I should say that I was able to achieve around times 3 in terms of better performance in loading, in terms of rendering, and yeah, um, everything is just much faster. And hopefully, I could work better and more efficiently moving on forward. So thank you so much for uh, everyone that actually supported Hungry Geeks in terms of upgrading the PC. And of course, I'm going to give you updates um, time by time in terms of how we do our workflow um, even from the networking I'm also going to have a separate video as well in terms of how to upgrade your networks in terms of if you're more into online schooling or home uh, work um, how to efficiently upgrade your PC as well so yeah that's it thank you so much guys thank you for watching Hungry Geeks I'm Ethan De Guzman if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and of course uh, comment down below if you have something to ask to me and I'll give even answer it as much as I can so thank you so much guys I'm Ethan De Guzman make sure you follow our social media pages Hungry Geeks PH in terms of Facebook and Instagram and of course follow me at Ethan De Guzman and thank you so much guys see you on the next video bye